motivation? Or do you need both to go out there and do the things you want to do? So I'm known as the inspiration to creation coach. So I thought maybe it was time that I dug into these terms and really talked about them, um, in particular inspiration. But they're super related. And <clears throat> if you want to get anything done, if you want to move towards your goals, if you want to create new habits, you need to understand how inspiration and motivation play into this. So I decided to go to the trusty dictionary. So I have some definitions here. And we're gonna start there, okay? So if you look at almost any dictionary, you're gonna see similar terms when it comes to the word inspiration. It's defined as something that makes someone want to do something or that gives someone an idea about what to do or what to create. Other definitions include the process of being mentally stimulated to do or feel something, especially to do something creative. It's also the quality or state of being um, of, of, of being. It's a, the state of being inspired. And you know, sometimes when we talk about being inspired, it's that brilliant, creative, or timely idea. So how do we use the word inspired? Kind of like this. Joan had a flash of inspiration. Or there was a rare moment of inspiration during a dull performance. Or I had an inspiration. Or I got inspired. Now motivation, on the other hand, is a little different. But again, they're very similar. So if we go to Merriam-Webster's dictionary again, we see that motivation is defined as the act or process of giving someone a reason for doing something. It's a motivating force, a stimulus or an influence, and the condition of being motivated. So we might use the word motivated in this way. Some students need motivation to help them through school, or the students lacked motivation. Uh, the fear of failure was the motivation for his success. These are all ways to look at it. Now, or the ways motivation would be used in a sentence. Now, here's the thing. When you're inspired, to me, that's an internal thing. You hear somebody speak and you get inspired, right? You um, read something and you get inspired. Right? So something generates that internal feeling of inspiration. Um, it could be a walk in nature. It could be anything like that. But inspiration is something that arises from the inside. It's a feeling we have, the feeling of being inspired. Mo motivation, on the other hand, is something generated often as a result of inspiration. It can also be generated by something outside us. Right? So, um, but, but inspiration, but motivation, let's put it this way. So inspiration will generate motivation and motivation results in action. Inspiration does not always result in action. <clears throat> so inspiration is really the spark. And like I said, I, I, I might listen to uh, some kind of a speaker and feel inspired because of the speech. But that and that inspiration may cause me to feel motivated to do something. So that inspiration comes from listening to some, the speaker, and then I feel motivated to, as a result of that, or as a result of my inspiration. It's not because of the speaker, it's because I feel inspired, and that inspiration moves me, motivates me to do something different. But I may take action for a variety of other reasons. I might, you know, know it's good for me or you know I might get motivated because the doctor tells me it's necessary for my health that's not necessarily inspirational although I may feel inspired to take action to better my health because um, you know because, because knowing that my my life depends on it inspires me but more than often that's more of a motivation thing um, I might get the idea for a new book um, you know kind of the flash of inspiration that motivates me to sit down and begin writing so sometimes that inspiration is enough to motivate us. Um, more often than not, it is. But sometimes we have other things in the way. We f have fears of failure, fears of judgment, um, old stories playing in our head about how we never follow through on our ideas or our ideas aren't good enough. And so we get inspired and then we talk ourselves out of it. So while we felt motivated, we talk ourselves out of the motivation and then the inspiration kind of dies too. Um, so as I said, motivation is a result of being 
inspired, but you have to have a high enough level of motivation to actually take action. So you may not take action, um, as I said, because of fear or whatever, but that's all resistance. So it's resistance to actually doing something different. Um, and you have to move through that resistance if you want to, to get something done, for something to change, right? So how do you do that? You, you wanna really focus on, on the inspiration and, and you may need to look at your old stories and what you tell yourself, like my ideas are never good enough. You may want to <coughs> um, remind yourself of how in the past your ideas were well accepted. Um, it could be that the inspiration you feel right now has to do with fulfilling your, your purpose. And if you're like me and you feel like that's why you're here and you, you, know, you would be super, uh, you would have a lot of regrets if you didn't fulfill your purpose, then that's gonna drive you forward. You have to really commit to it. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Sorry, I keep hitting my, my mic here. Um, let's talk a little bit more about the word inspired, okay? So inspired to me equals in spirit. When we break down the word inspired, we find it comes from two words, in and spirit. The word literally means in spirit. And the late Dr. Wayne Dyer um, explained that in the moment that you feel inspired by something, you're living in line with your spirit. You're aligned with your spirit or your soul. Um, and the idea kind of goes that if, if you're inspired, you're walking, um, you're walking your spirit's path, your soul's path. You um, are doing, and, and when that happens, things click. You get in the flow, you become a magnet for what you desire, things just go better because, um, yeah, because, because you're aligned. And I firmly believe that we get ideas so that we, we have a reason for being here and then we get this urge to create something. Um, you know, we get that moment of inspiration and then we start thinking about it. And if we get stuck in the head, right? And in the conceptualization of it, then we never get to the feeling. We never allow the feeling of being inspired to really fill us and to allow ourselves to visualize what it might be like to have what we want. When we can visualize what it might have what it might be like to have what we want and to feel it, then we get to this moment when we're inspired to action. The, the next right thing for us to do comes into mind. And then when we get that, that motivates us because we like to know, right? <laughs> we like to know the next step. But when that next step comes with the feeling of being inspired, we're more likely to move forward. And so that's when we do, we take that inspired action and we move forward and we're doing that in alignment with our soul or our spirit. And it's on purpose with us and for us, it's on purpose for us. It fulfills our purpose, moves us closer to fulfilling our purpose. And that alignment then it begins to attract synchronicity, right? Things are happening for us. So how do we get inspired? How do you get inspired? Um, one of the things that I think is, is learning. When we are learning about the things that we're passionate about, we get inspired. Um, being around, you know, or involved in the things that we're passionate about is inspiring to us. Um, getting out in nature can be inspiring. Listening to a sermon could be inspiring. Reading a book could be inspiring. Um, visualizing what you want to create and how that feels and why you feel inspired to do that, that's, you know, it, it begins to build inspiration. When you visualize what you want and what it would be like to have it, then you begin to feel inspired to do and to take that next inspired action. Um, so how do you get motivated? A lot of people think that, um, that they have to kind of wait for motivation but or inspiration. Uh, there's a writer, I can't remember who he is, he talks about inspiration. He says, you know, uh, um, every day I, I wait for inspiration or something like that, but, I, but when I sit down at 9 a.m. in my chair and start to type, inspiration always comes. Um, but it's the same with motivation. Motivation comes from action. So you have to commit first to taking action. So you get inspired and then you commit to taking the related action, to taking that inspired action. And as you take the action, you get more motivated um, and not the other way around. It's kind of like with exercising. When the more you exercise, you know, you're not motivated to do it right away, but the more you do it, the more motivated you get. Um, also, I would suggest um, to get more motivated 
to imagine what it would be like if you took a consistent action. Um, you know, what, what would you gain? And if you don't take consistent action, um, if you don't find that motivation, commit to doing what you're supposed to, what you want to be doing, not what you're supposed to be doing, what do you lose? So what do you gain? What do you lose? Um, you know, really think about that because we, we tend to want to, um, again, we tend to, to not think about what we're losing in the process. But you have this great idea, you get inspired, and um, you, know, the, you start to have motivation, and then you talk yourself out of it, right? You tell yourself that uh, it's going to be too hard, or you might lose something, or um, the outcome might be, not be what you want or you know, you're afraid that your parents won't like it, or whatever it is, or your spouse will reject you for it. And so you talk yourself out with all these stories, talk yourself out of taking action with all these stories. So um, talk yourself into it instead, okay? Talk yourself into taking action, and um, then you'll take your inspiration and bring it into the world, right? you want to really combine that inspiration with motivation because inspiration is almost always followed with some sort of motivation. So take that inspired action consistently and you'll begin to, to train yourself that if I, I'm inspired and then I know what action to take next and I take it and I do it consistently that, and my motivation grows and then I achieve what I want or I create what I want, you're going to open the floodgates of inspiration. That's what's going to happen because you're going to be telling yourself, you're going to be telling your subconscious mind, you're going to be telling the universe that you want to be inspired and that you're willing to take that inspiration and do something with it, to put it to use, hopefully in service to others. So that's really how I believe it happens. So I challenge you to do that, to, to look for, for, to actually consciously look for ways to get inspired and to then create motivation and or if motivation comes to take action on it consistently so that you um, don't let all this inspiration go to waste, okay? I'm Nina Amir, I'm the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I help people get from where they are, from where they are to where they wanna go. I help them get out of their own way and create lives that feed their souls. I, I help them take those moments of inspiration and be, learn to use their motivation to not t to talk themselves into being motivated so that they create what they want in in life and so and that they step into their best self and live life fully so if that's of interest to you I would love for you to uh, join my um, inspired creator community that's where I do help seekers other people on the personal and spiritual growth path to uh, to create a life that feeds their soul so if that's of interest to you, click above. I would love to have you join me. And if you know there I do high performance coaching, but I also do inspired results coaching and some spiritual training, things like that. So if that's of interest to you, please do click on the link above and join. Um, if you're interested just in high performance coaching, that's cool. I offer a free, uh, free 90 minute strategy session. You can click above also on the second link and apply for a free certified high performance coaching strategy session. I'd be happy to give that to you uh, all on me, free of charge, just to get to know each other and see if we're a good fit to work together. So that's it for today. I'm Nina Amir, the Inspiration to Creation Coach. And until I talk to you next time, go out there and achieve more results and do it by finding that inspiration and the motivation, combining them, going out in there and creating something, okay? Till next time, bye.